Hey there, today I have a short story to unbox. So, um, real quick, I'm so sorry, I haven't been posting, I know. Um, it's probably been like at least over a month since my last video and it's just been a kind of a combination of things. I mean, part of the reason is I just haven't had any need or desire to buy new clothing um, just because we're currently <laughs> in the middle of a pandemic and I'm working from home. I don't really go out that much anymore and actually I rarely even get dressed and put on makeup. I just kind of work from home and I'm just very casual. <laughs> And also, just time-wise, I used to have an empty house because I was an empty nester, but my two grown daughters are now back living with me and my husband just because they can work remotely, so they've decided to do that. And so I have a full house, so my husband and I, my two daughters, my two dogs, and my daughter's cat. <laughs> so not an empty nest anymore, so it just seems like it's just a little more hectic. But anyway, sorry for that long ramble. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a quick update before I start this video on what's been going on. <laughs> if you're not familiar with Short Starry, it's an online subscription service similar to Stitch Fix and those others. With Short Starry though, it's geared mainly towards petite women, which are 5'4 and under, and, and for reference, I am 5'1", <laughs> so pretty short. And the way it works, there's a $25 upfront styling fee, which gets applied to whatever you purchase. You complete an online style quiz and then they'll send you your items. It does take a little bit of time compared to some of the other services, so probably about maybe a month or so, especially if it's your first box. Once you get it, you'll have five days to try everything on. And then before they used to have you fill out like a form and send everything back, but I think now, uh, and it has been a, a long time since my last short story box, I believe now they do have a way to log out online. So that's good. And I'll put some information about how Short Story works down in the description box below, along with my referral link, in case you want to check it out. But yeah, I've been very happy with this service. It's not like Stitch Fix in that if you keep everything, you get a discount. With Short Story, I, I think their prices are pretty good already, because when I compare it to what you can buy outside for like the same item, it does seem less. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what I got. Okay, so short story, it always comes in this nice box. It says short story, pretty things inside. And by the way, I have my two dogs, Sammy and Kai, are here. Wherever I go, my, my family notices is they always follow. <laughs> so I'm like the pack leader, you know. Oh, and by the way, I did get new air conditioning, which is kind of quiet. It's a Mitsubishi. Our other one died, so we had to replace it. And yeah, I, th I think it's going to be better for my videos because it's more quiet. Okay, so anyway, here's what my box looks like inside. There's a return mailing label to send all your items back. You just use the same box that the items came in and then just put it on top. And you have a flyer with information and it has just some information on all the items. Okay, and here is a peek at my bundle. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Okay, so there is a note from my stylist and my stylist this time is Olivia. And she says, Hi, Tisha, lovely to see you again. I saw in the note that you left that you are currently working from home, which I am. I guess I'm looking for home clothes. This collection is a mix of comfy casual pieces with a twist to keep boredom at bay. I went for light airy fabrics and colors to keep you cool in the Honolulu heat. Okay, so this does sound promising because since I am working from home, not going out much, so I don't really have opportunities to make use of a lot of the clothes that I own and have even purchased in the last six months or so. I really don't need much uh, in terms of work clothes, so more like home casual clothes. Okay, so the first item in my box is this blouse. And it's just a, a kind of it's a very cute blouse it's kind of basic it has um, this kind of is this a balloon type sleeve I wouldn't say this is something I would wear at home but it is cute and this is by the brand petite principle petite medium size it's the petite roomy woven print long sleeve blouse and it's 3825 and for a styling service 
I think that you know is a, a pretty good price and when you compare it to what you can get for something similar from Stitch Fix I would say this is it, it's it's not bad so we'll see yeah this is it looks like it's rayon which isn't my favorite material honestly but we'll see what is it yep rayon <laughs> So we'll see. I mean, I think this is a cute blouse. It's a, a nice basic. Not sure about the fabric and you know, honestly not sure if I'll have use for it staying at home, but we'll give it a try. Okay, next. Hmm. <laughs> I got this skirt, which looks for me a little short. You know, I am 54 years old, so I'm, I'm not a spring chicken. <laughs> but I mean, it's cute. It's the Everly size medium. Calypso tiger print skirt and it's $35 but yeah this is like a mini skirt <laughs> this looks really short we will see but I'm um, hmm <laughs> okay okay next I got this t-shirt and it's by mono B okay it does seem a little short and this is the Reagan roll up sleeve top size medium 2850. 2850, okay. So, this, you know, this is really cute, I think, for maybe one of my daughters, <laughs> although they're a lot smaller than me right now. Um, yeah, but this is, you know, we'll see. I have a lot of things that are more high waisted, and you know, so maybe this could work. Okay, okay, and next I have this. <laughs> This bralette, hmm, yeah, I, you, mm, I'm not sure about this because it's not like something I typically wear, but I guess this is something you would use for layering. <laughs> it's by the brand Lido. It's the Artemis cutout bralette, size medium, and it's $28. Ooh, so $28 for this bralette. I mean, this is very, hmm, just a little bit. I think it's too much for me, <laughs> I'll be honest. Try it on with something under it, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, next. Okay, wow. <laughs> it's very different. This kind of reminds me of something you would get at Urban Outfitters. It's by the brand Lido. It's the petite semi-crochet cotton top, size small petite, medium petite, and it's $36.59. Interesting. <laughs> okay. And lastly, I think it's lastly. Oh, okay, I got a pair of shorts. These are kind of a paper bag style, I think, because it has like elastic and it has two buttons. Hmm, so oh, it has some distressing here with actual whoops. <laughs> and these are the Erin and Amber Boyfriend Vintage Wash Short, size medium, 38.56. Okay, so that is, that's not bad. We'll see though. Yeah, I'm not sure how flattering this is going to be on me. Because, you know, like, since I have put on some weight, I'm not... <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering if this, because it's a little poofy, if it will add some pounds to me. But we'll give it a try. I kind of, it looks very comfortable. I don't know also about these rips here, but let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, so that was everything I got in my short story box this month. And now I'm going to go ahead and try everything on. <laughs> and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here is the first item, <laughs> which is this top. So I have it just front tucked into some jeans. And these actually are my current favorite jeans. And they're by Can Can. And I got them from Stitch Fix actually. But yeah, I really like these jeans. <laughs> the blouse, actually, I, I really like it. I think it looks nice. It's very flowy. Um, it's white, but it's not sheer or anything, so there's no problem with that. It is just kind of, um, it's a rayon, which isn't my favorite. But, you know, sometimes rayon is nice because it's breathable. And I kind of like how this look you know how it looks with jeans but I think because it's so neutral black and white you could also wear it with some colored pants too hmm. <laughs> so I have to think about this and yeah it's just very basic it does have these kind of 
voluminous sleeves, which I don't mind. I think that's kind of nice. And yeah, cute. Okay, so here is that crochet top, which as you can see is very cropped. And I am wearing the white bralette underneath. Yeah, so this is a very different look. Um, luckily, these jeans are very high-waisted, so it doesn't look too bad, but still not something I probably would wear. It almost, to me, looks like a beach cover-up. <laughs> and I haven't gone to the beach in years. Well, no, that's not true. One year. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's very different. It's kind of fun, hip, but probably not something I would go out in. So I'm thinking I might show this to my two daughters and see if one of them might be interested in it. And even like this bralette thing, I, <laughs> I don't think that would be something I would make use of. And I guess you can see in the back, you can see the, the detail. So anyway, that's the, um, this top and this thing. <laughs> and okay, so here is the white t-shirt and it's kind of on the cropped side, but I have it front tucked into the, looks like paper bag waist shorts. And if you hear something on the side, that's my younger daughter who is eating breakfast. Oh, there she goes, having a soda. Okay, so yeah, this is just a basic t-shirt, and I don't know, I think it's actually kind of cute. It's a little on the short side, so you'd have to wear it with some high-waisted shorts, or else I think it would be too short. And actually, these shorts, I kind of like. They um, seem to fit. <laughs> and I don't actually have any shorts like this with an elastic waist. And yeah, I think, I think they're actually kind of cute. Not too sure about these rips, but I guess you could always sew them. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is cute. And I just have them styled with these sneakers that my younger daughter, who's sitting over there, actually bought for me. Right, Chris? Okay, so here is the last item, which is this animal print skirt. <laughs> and yeah, as suspected, I think this is way too short for me. So it is cute and it actually fits, but it's just about three inches too short. <laughs> and I have it just paired with this white t-shirt again is what they suggested. And I think, I mean, it, it's a cute look, but maybe if I were like 25, but I'm not. <laughs> I think this is probably a pass, but yeah, not bad. I just wish it was a little longer. Okay, so I tried everything on, and yeah, not bad. I think there were some definite hits, and also, unfortunately, some misses for me. <laughs> but yeah, so let's just kind of go over everything. And by the way, this is the second time I'm filming this wrap-up section because I accidentally must have turned off my sound. So I was really good. I started my editing and uh-oh, no sound. <laughs> Luckily, I did it right away. Usually, I wait a couple days. If I had done that, I would have been in trouble. But hmm, anyway. <sighs> okay, so actually, um, for the items that I did like, I was surprised. I actually did really like these jeans. And I didn't think they added pounds, I didn't think. I thought they were actually pretty cute and very, very comfortable with this elasticy waist. The only thing I'm, I'm not too sure about was the, you know, these rips, but we'll see how it goes. I like that the length, it wasn't too bad and yeah, cute. It looks actually really nice with the crop t-shirt, which is just kind of a nice basic. It is a little on the short side, but I think I can work with it. I liked the material. It's actually 100% modal. So it really did drape nicely, I thought. Okay, and also I kind of like this top. You know, it does have a really cute basic print and I thought it looked really nice with jeans, but you could probably also wear it with, you know, colored jeans and that would look good. And boy, I better start talking faster because my battery light is going. <laughs> oh no, this is, this is not, this is not good. I think, it <laughs> I think this is probably a pass. It's definitely too, too young for me because remember I am kind of old. I'm 54. <laughs> and then not too sure about this crochet top. I mean I guess you could wear just a tank top underneath versus like a bralette and it, it would just provide more coverage. 
but we'll see. I think for me, this is probably also a pass, but uh, I'm gonna think about it. And then lastly, <laughs> yeah, so as I was you know, editing, I saw that in the try-on, this did look extremely short. And on top of that, it has kind of a, a slit here, which makes it even, mm. <laughs> So even though I did really like this print, it's very pretty. I think it's probably a pass, unfortunately. Okay, keep your fingers crossed that my battery does not die. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you guys thought of the clothes in the comments below. I always look forward to seeing what you guys have to say. But that's all I have for today and I hope everybody is doing well. I know these are some very difficult times, you know, and you know, initially when we had like the shutdown and Hawaii was doing so well, we had like almost no cases at all. Uh, once we started opening up, we saw more and more cases to the point where now we're in triple digits. So I think we had another case of 280 something cases today and it's been around there for like over a week. So I don't know. It sounds like, it seems like we're going to be shutting down again, but we'll see. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's wrap this up now as, oh boy, the light is blinking fast, but I have Kaya here as my lone friend. So we'll bring her to help me say goodbye. Okay, <laughs> and here is Miss Kaya, and she is such a sweet dog, and <sighs> she has her teeth cleaning scheduled for Tuesday. Oh, sorry for the interruption. Okay, yes, and but anyway, so Miss Kaya has her teeth cleaning scheduled for Tuesday, so I hope that goes well. So wish Kaya luck, because I'm a little bit worried. This is the first time that she's going to have to get her teeth clean, even though I do brush her teeth every day. She hates actually getting her teeth brushed, so... But anyway, that's all I have for today's video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of shopping hauls and unboxing videos, and if you enjoy watching those kind of videos, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.